Are true work bibs worth the money? This video is gonna be a quick little video on winter workwear. Uh, what I wore all last winter and I think I really got it down to a science. I've been super impressed with True Work and their bibs. I always appreciate these videos when I'm uh, looking to make purchases. Very surprised at how warm the T3 bibs are and the S3 jacket. I absolutely love this jacket. Again, it's the S3. I think they call it a work hoodie. If you can kind of see the material real durable it also is stretchy but it is very durable i'm 6'3 200 pounds and it fits me perfect sleeves are long enough um, i bought the hooded jacket which was nice when you're out in the elements the hood is actually big enough uh, go over your head um, keep out the rain keep out the wind you can cinch it down which was nice i think they make these hats big enough for a hard hat but it's actually a hood that works um, just a little more on this jacket i would compare this to so my other previous favorite jacket was kuyu it is for mountain hunting uh kind of higher end hunting gear but i would compare true works uh s3 jacket very similar to my kuyu which was double the price um both water resistant, not waterproof, but this True Work jacket did a really good job last winter out in the elements and snow. Um, it does a phenomenal job at stopping the wind. That's why I think being a light uh, kind of shell jacket keeps you so warm. All last winter on the coldest days here in Nebraska, I would just wear like a rain defender hoodie, this, and then my work bibs, the T3s. And very rarely would I need to wear like a thermal uh, thermal shirt for my first layer um, so it's a very warm setup like I said if any of you are hunters you're familiar with uh, Kuyu and the quality very top quality and like I said I would compare the true work as right on par your traditional bibs um, they're heavy I always used to dread growing up uh, in the agricultural uh, community or working for my family the time of year where it was to break out the bibs. They're hard to move around in for whatever reason, lifting your legs, um, even walking. I feel like they make you walk goofy. There's never a real good tailored fit. I just always hated wearing them. So when True Work came out with theirs and I was seeing everybody rant and rave. So I finally got a pair as a gift from my wife um, and they run like bulk sales. So I would wait this winter or maybe around Thanksgiving where they run a bulk sale. I think it. I saved like 100, or she saved 150 bucks. But just the weight difference alone is very substantial. And these are flexible. Um, I guess the major choice you would have would be the T2s versus T3s. These are the T3s. And I would say maybe they're a little heavy. Um, like if you're moving around a lot in your job, I would say to buy the T2s, but these also do a good job of breathing. Um, rarely would I sweat. They are very light, they're very flexible, do a great job at stopping the wind. Only downfall of this design is right here on the straps. I don't know why they designed it this way, it's a, a major design flaw in my mind but you can't adjust them while they're on you. The Velcro goes underneath versus like all other bibs, how there's a mechanism to adjust them once they're on where you can cinch them. That is the only um, the downfall of these. But once you get them set to how you like them, you just leave it, I guess, and don't change what you're wearing. So another thing, they have a closure down at the bottom to keep the snow out, which I just usually button it. It's got Velcro as well, but you can kind of wrap it around your uh, boot and your pants like a gaiter. And I haven't washed these since last winter, so they're a little dirty. 
but you can see that was working in them all winter. These do have the knee pads, which uh, first I didn't think I would like, but I do. They're just a real thin foam. So they could even be heavier or you could cut your own foam and put them in. Um, the pockets are kind of worthless. I kind of wish they didn't even put these pockets on here, but no gear is ever 100% perfect. But like I said, they're very comfortable. They move extremely well. It's not like your traditional set of bibs where you can't you know, get down and move around or lift your legs up. Like if you're on a roof climbing ladders and or scaffold or whatever. Um, nice stretchy fit. They fit well. These are a large. I would say they're made for a slimmer fit. If I had any bulkier jacket on, I could not put these over the top. Um, so that's something to be aware of. If you're one of those guys that likes to wear a big Carhartt jacket, you're gonna have to put that on the outside. Um, they come up really high compared to other bibs. But with this setup, like I said, all last winter, I was extremely warm. Um, so comparing these to your standard work bib, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Very durable, extremely warm, um, flexible, comfortable, all the above, along with the S3 jacket. Uh, a few other uh, bits of information is during the winter, I love these Milwaukee gloves. The dexterity is awesome. Um, the only downfall is after you wear them so long, the cotton liner starts to separate from the fingers so it can kind of be hard to take them on and off also these ones are not waterproof <clears throat> so when there's snow on the ground and it gets a little colder i uh, switch over to these ones that have um, almost they're fully dipped uh, so they you know do a good job of keeping your hands dry they're a little bit warmer than these the dexterity not great, but still way better than any other winter glove I've uh, tried to wear. So these Milwaukee gloves, I usually buy a couple pairs. Um, <clears throat> when they put them in the stores early on, I think they're nine bucks a pair because come midwinter, it seems like you can't find them. And these are by far the best uh, cold weather gloves to that maintain dexterity for doing carpentry. A uh, few other things is I've been a big fan of these Keen boots. These are insulated, um, just a mock toe. The soles have held up extremely well. Um, they are pretty darn warm, have a safety toe. So I'm probably gonna buy another pair just cause they've held up very well. Uh, I tried out a pair of crispy boots. Um, I bought these this spring. They are insulated, but I used to wear uh, Mendel. If anybody's familiar with Mendel boots, they're German made, high-end hunting boots. They were very comfortable. I seen online, there was very good reviews of the Crispies, and these almost look very similar to the Mendels. But I will say I hated these boots, and these are double the cost of Mendel. I paid $500 for these boots here. They never really broke in and got comfortable like Mendel's. These are very stiff, as you can see. Um, and the soles wore out. And I don't. this summer I didn't spend a ton of time on concrete um, with building decks and whatnot. So I was very disappointed in these boots. They did not hold up, were not worth the money. So I would not recommend anybody if you're looking for a good pair of work boots. Um, definitely do not try the Krispies. <clears throat> what I've kind of found to be true is just to buy the cheaper boots um, like the Keens and just figure you're going to get maybe three months out of them. Uh, this pair of Keens I wore out. These are my last. I did actually like these. Um, they're not as attractive as like the mock toe, your traditional mock toe. So I think I'm going to go buy maybe a pair of each kind of one for outdoor and one for indoor but i am a big fan of 
the Keens I got on today. So once again, this is Drew Meyer with Meyer Construction. If you enjoyed this content, please uh, check out my channel for tool reviews, gear reviews, all things carpentry. As far as the gear goes, I'm a huge fan of True Work. Um, both their pants, their jackets, uh, really everything. I really love True Work. I would say it's totally worth the money. Um, if you're a carpenter, you're working outside all the time. It makes working out in the elements both and more enjoyable, easier, um, easier on your body. So invest in yourself, buy uh, good gear, especially if you are gonna be out in the elements this winter. So thanks for watching and keep hammering.